back today with a what if, but with an also a slight versus battle tied to it. Uh, today, I'm talking about what if Kakashi had joined Jiraiya on his mission to infiltrate the Rain Village and inevitably fought Pain. Today, I got my boy, my partner in crime when it comes to Kakashi, Sage, Thick Caps. Say it, everybody. Yo, what's up, guys? Glad to be on the channel. Um, always a good time whenever, you know, me and Lightning get together and, uh, you know, make some magic in regards to the, some Kakashi glaze, you know. We're going to be educating the people on what they need to know. So I'm excited to, uh, to jump into this and kind of cover something that I don't think has been covered quite enough, you know. Now, uh, on that note, we'll give we'll give a uh, you know a few seconds for the uh, Kakashi haters or our our, our channel our channel haters because we I know we we, we play as Kakashi so give a moment of silence real quick. So go ahead, yell, scream, let the fur fly, give the neighbors something to talk about. So, yeah. So today I haven't really seen this topic you know brought up a whole. I, I I've seen Reddit threads and I've seen discussions for it here and there but I haven't really seen it brought up too much uh on YouTube what I so yeah today we'll, we'll just get into it um it's pretty self-explanatory you know just what if Kakashi and we're not going to discuss like you know a, the other side of the what if like what happens but to you know the, the elite village whatever with Kakashi not being there we're just going to say that you know Kakashi just either Tsunade or Kakashi felt it was better if he accompanied Jiraiya to the Rain Village. Um, or even if you want to take a step further where Jiraiya had still wanted to go on his own, but Tsunade was just not having it, was not one to let Jiraiya just go on his dangerous mission by himself and just set Kakashi as secret backup or whatever. So one way or the other, Kakashi is accompanying Jiraiya. So um, before we get into that, though, I also, I, I told Sage I wanted to recover something that that's another thing that people want to, you know, go back and forth on. Um, it's a big source of contention within the Naruto community. And when it comes to this, Jiraiya and Kakashi have something really similar going on here. Is that, and that they both fought pain before in, in their own respective ways. Pretty much one on one, if you really get out, if you really want to get down to it. Uh, so today, we're, we also want to discuss who we think did better in their own respective fights. Um, you know, because a lot of people argue, you know, that Jirai did better. A lot of people will stand that Kakashi did better. So before we get into the nitty gritty of the actual video, we'll discuss this real quick. So, yeah, so I, I think that this is, it's, it's kind of difficult to look at it from that lens because like, what does it mean to do better against pain, right? Does it mean to, um, like who did the most damage, who took down the most paths of pain? Obviously that's Jiraiya. Uh, but does it mean who had the more impressive showing with what they had at their disposal? I would say then Kakashi. So I think I go back and forth on this and I don't think there's like a one size fits all answer. But the way that I see it is Kakashi essentially was playing chess against Pain, missing his rooks and still was able to kind of like, you know, push him to a certain level where he was at least worried there at the end. In fact, the uh, the Naruto website birthday article on him says Kakashi put up a good fight while trying to analyze Pain's abilities. So it does sort of imply that he was at least relative enough to him or at least pushed him far enough to where he was able to um, kind of press him. Now, the context, obviously, is that Pain is fatigued and Pain is holding back there. He's not using his Chaotic Shinra Tensei. It's also, at first, just the Diva Path, which if it was just 1v1 with the Diva Path, I think he would have won. Um, but then also the Ashra Path joins in. And then some people, they try to discredit Kakashi here by saying that he had help from Joji and Shoza, which is true. But whenever they arrive and he says, like, oh, it's good you guys are here. This is going to allow me to save some Chakra. But I did, like, have a plan. Um... It kind of makes you ask the question, what was that plan? Uh, and why would this save him Chakra? And I think we have two distinct possibilities. I think the first one is he was basically going to do, to do the same exact plan that he did with Choji and Choza, except use Shadow Clones. And since Shadow Clones generally physically scale to the user, that should allow for him to accomplish this quicker because he's faster than Choji and Choza, um, which would have been good. And then the second thing is in some way, shape, or form would have used Kamui. So... There's some really interesting context to how this played out. I do think that he performed really well. But obviously, on the flip side, Jiraiya didn't have any intel, while Kakashi did know at least about the shared vision, um, which isn't a ton, but it's something. And then Jiraiya also, 
like fought Payne in the Rain Village, where he has the um, he has the uh, Rainmaker Jutsu that basically allows for him to sense everything going on in the village all at once. So like utilizing clones and things like that wouldn't even matter because Payne would be able to sense it. Um, and then he's also fighting Payne like while <laughs> while Payne is closer to Nagato, and we know that. Uh, the, the version of Pain that fought Naruto and Kakashi was further away from Nagato, and that's why he had to run away from Naruto to get closer to Nagato so he could use the Chaotic Shinra Tensei. But also, he couldn't use the Chaotic Shinra Tensei, or, or not the Chaotic Shinra Tensei, sorry, the Chibaku Tensei. But also, he couldn't use the Chaotic Shinra Tensei or the Chibaku Tensei against Jiraiya because he's in his village. So there's like a bunch of different factors playing in here. Um, that being said, I think they did about the same uh you can like you can lean in either direction i think kakashi was more impressive because he had less to work with but jiraiya obviously did more damage to pain i'm i'm pretty much in agreement i understand like i understand like as much as i stand kakashi and i don't reason i even brought this up is because you know i told Sage this like i don't know i think people downplay kakashi's performance in that fight i even had someone say you know you know albeit kind of condescendingly is if I thought, like, if I really thought that Kakashi would have been able to beat Pain, and I don't remember if he was just not understanding what I was saying, but I told him if it was 1v1 against the, the Diva Path, there's really no question he pretty much had him beat. Uh, and yes, this is including the minimal help from Choji and Choja, which, again, I've me and Sage have often said in our, our previous videos that he could have replicated the same thing with just two clones. So, I really just, you know, uh, it's just so great. And again, uh, that's just, that's a pain who was significantly stronger than, or the diva path that was significantly stronger than the le at least the one that fought Naruto in, in the first place. And the fact that Kakashi literally just saw two abilities of pain, of the diva path specifically, and immediately came to a conclusion about how to deal with it. And pretty much... Like was going to be affected. It would have been 100% affected had the Ostra Path not been there. So, um, yeah, I guess that's just like my the, my, uh, my point in bringing this up in, in the first place is because like I do find Jirai's, uh, you know, performance to be impressive. Arguably more impressive because he had to deal with more. Um, and like like say to mention, he pretty much went in with no intel whatsoever. Uh, so. Yeah, I, I I do agree. Like, you know, Jiraiya's did, and he actually ended up actually, you know, dealing with the paths of pain that he ended up catching in the Genjutsu. Uh, whereas Kakashi, like, let's be honest, didn't really get the win on either pain. Uh, if it, I mean, the Ostrath was kind of beating the crap and back, but like, it, the thing was still able to move constantly and was still had enough, you know, energy or what have you to shoot a missile at Choji. So, um, so yeah, and, and, and uh, on paper, in, in its own way, Jirai, I guess you could say, did perform better. But like Sage mentioned, I think it's more impressive for Kakashi's performance given what he had, or rather what he didn't have. Yeah. So, um, so while we get up that off the table, now we can get on to the meat of the video and talk about how this fight would have played out had Kakashi had been in the rain village with Jiraiya. Um, at first glance, I, I wasn't in... Like, I wasn't entirely sure, and me and Sage were kind of going back and forth. And like, well, we're we're gonna cover two scenarios, <laughs> and we'll and we'll I'll I'll tell you why in, in a second. Um, the reason is because when you t when you take Pain's fight with Kakashi into account, Pain looks at him and says, "Oh, you're Kakashi, the copy ninja. You know, I'm honored to meet you." And then with just a few showings of what Kakashi's able to do, Pain's like, "You have a a lot of." jutsu and you have nice movements i need to kill you before you become a problem later yeah. um now put that same <laughs> kakashi in this area combining like you know uh you know fighting alongside jiraiya who pain already knows is strong um uh there's a good argument that pain might not want to waste any time against these two deadly combatants uh, and we say that in the way of there's a chance that Pain might start sending out the stronger paths to fight them both rather than the ones he sent out to fight Jiraiya. So to kind of cover our, you know, the both bases, we're going to talk about 
what would have what would have happened if the situation still played out the same in the original timeline where Payne sent out the three that he already sent out to fight Jiraiya? And then what would have happened had the situation become a little more dire in terms of the Leaf team? Um, so I know I'm going off the rails with that, but um, if we if we if we go off the side of the original timeline, I think that Jiraiya and Kakashi perform really well because. As I, I mentioned to Sage, you know, I'm pretty sure everyone will agree that Jiraiya is already like a shrewd fighter. Um, he's he's definitely wise, you know, and he, he's really smart. And a lot of his wisdom comes from his battle experience. Uh, same with Ma and Pa, who are also going to be in this, in, in this fight as well. So collectively, all three of them are pretty smart in their own right. But then you have Kakashi, who is verified as the one of the strong, smartest ninja in the series, period. Um who will actually be a, a source of reassurance for Jiraiya in some way. Because, again, like I said, Kakashi's quick to pick up on things and analyze them the second he sees them. So you combine that with the, uh, the also quick thinking of Ma and Pa and Jiraiya. Um, I don't think that Jiraiya will be as, you know, running amok uh, as he did before. Because if you remember, like, Jiraiya... Now, while he did keep his composure for the most part, there were a couple of times, and it was basically played off as comedic relief, but... There were a couple of times where he was just like, just totally flabbergasted of each ability that Payne was throwing. Rightfully so, because the Running Con's abilities are crazy, especially when you see him for the first time. And you're just not knowing. Because every time Jiraiya thought he was gaining an advantage over Payne, Payne made use of a new ability that he hadn't shown Jiraiya yet, which just left and just kept Jiraiya in a perpetual state of confusion and led to him making a lot of mistakes that he wouldn't have made otherwise had he known better. But with Kakashi being here, uh, I I think I don't think that's going to be the case, honestly. Yeah, I totally agree. So uh, there's actually a statement in Data Book Three, and Data Book Three. This is important because Data Book Three covers up to Chapter Four Hundred Three, or right before the Pain Invasion of the Hidden Leaf, and with with Jiraiya dying in Chapter Three Eighty Three. So this obviously covers everybody, including Jiraiya, up to this point. And uh, it, it, Kakashi's data book pro profile in data book three, it tells us that he has the best strategic plans, which just would mean he's the best strategist in the series up to that point. So if you take how shrewd Jiraiya is, uh, the wisdom that he has, plus the arsenal that he has, and then you add in the strongest Jonin in the Hidden Leaf Village, um, who Jiraiya and, uh, well... Tsunade, Jiraiya, and Shikaku all sort of recognize is Kage level, or at least around Kage level, during this arc. Um, plus him being the best strategist in the world. There's a really strong case to be made that if uh, Pain, like in this first scenario, were to use the same strategy that he used against them, that, I mean, Jiraiya is just stated from the chapter synopsis statement whenever he traps the, uh, the Paths of Pain in the corridor, that he's on the path to victory now that he's got them 1v1. And then we see that that's the case whenever he hits them with Frog Song and then, you know, kind of seals them, immobilizes them. And then he powers down to the initial Sage Mode. Uh, there are two different, like, versions of his Sage Mode, by the way. Um, but he powers down to, like, the initial Sage Mode, which may not have the same level of sensory, which makes sense as to why he got blindsided by the Ashra Path. That wouldn't happen if Kakashi was there, right? Kakashi not only would be able to provide better strategy, he would also be able to provide better support. He'd be watching his back. This is a guy who was in the Anbu for at least nine years. Um, he worked in squads while in the Anbu. He was a squad leader, uh, you know, world renowned for his, you know, feats of valor. So I think that if it's the same situation, then the Ashra path gets clipped as soon as it arrives. And then now you're just down to the diva path and the human path, I believe. So, yeah, the, the, at that in this scenario, I think there's a really good shot that Jirai and Kakashi take the dub, because again, the diva path isn't going to level its own village um, unless push absolutely came to shove. And we've already seen evidence that Kakashi can find a way around the uh, Shinra Tensei timer and then utilize strategy to put it down. So. I think that in this scenario, with the additional asset of Kakashi and his abilities, plus Kakashi's nearly unrivaled mind, would allow for them to come out top, out out on top in this scenario. I agree, and like I said, you know, with Kakashi being there, I mean, Kakashi took two looks. Like I said before, he took like what two looks of what the Diva Path could do, 
And he yeah. immediately, I mean, okay, as soon as Choji, it's so funny because as soon as Choji and Choza got there, he immediately made a battle plan and it worked. It, it, it worked. Like, Payne looked pretty shook. I mean, it looked like it was game over. Like, if, he, if you know, if Kakashi would have landed that Chidori, it would have been over. And so, you put that same intellect and same kind of strategic mindset in this same fight with the weaker pass, but you add Jiraiya, you know, Ma and Paul, any of the summons that they want to, you know, summon out. Um, on top of the dogs, like, I mean, okay, granted, like, the ninja hounds are kind of a joke at this point, let's be honest. But, like, all together, they were collectively able to sneak up on and hold down Zabuza, who is a monster of a Jonin. So, I, as much as the, the hounds are played off as jokes, as when it comes to the summons, uh, you know, I don't know. I think they're pretty useful in their own right. I know if someone's probably going to make a joke about that in the comments, but, um, in any case, like... I mean, keep in mind, whenever whenever Zabuza is reanimated, and generally the the accepted idea is that Edo's are somewhat nerfed, right? Like, whenever he's brought back, he's able to just mow through, like, dozens of shinobi. And we know that the only shinobi who were on the battlefield were Chunin and Jonin. So, he's able to mow through Chunin and Jonin with no difficulty at all, and yet these ninja hounds are able to, like, hold him down. So, I, I don't think that the ninja hounds can really do anything to like the animal summons um that that pain has at his disposal but if it comes down to like the human path is eliminated along with the other four that they would have you know taken out already in the corridor and it's just like 1v2 versus pain i think that they could counter with kakashi's mind and his strategy they could counter his uh, timer and then maybe trap him with the dogs or have the dogs do the chain thing or you know whatever and then um you know get him with a raikiri or something else so yeah I, I think that they kind of should come out on top if pain uses the same strategy but if he uses a different strategy it could be different well I, we're, we're like real quick if we're talking about the weaker path too something i didn't even we forgot to bring up is that like when it comes to like the ones like the human path and the prey to path like as soon as yeah you know, kakashi and jiraiya Figure out that the you know the Prada Path, for example, can can seal ninjutsu and they can't use ninjutsu on them. Like I, people don't understand and maybe slightly even sleep on Kakashi's Taijutsu. I mean, yep. this man trained for years with the the master of Taijutsu himself, Mike Guy, and let it, like not even not even counting that he spent his youth training under Minato in Taijutsu as well. So like. Well, he, the, he can open at least one of the gates. Would yeah. be able to do that. It's just stated that you have to be a Taijutsu master. So yeah. So like, as soon as Kakashi sees that the Prada Path can like you know use or you know can absorb ninjutsu and whatnot, and like you said, like the human path isn't really a ninjutsu based path. I wouldn't you know I'd give it to Kakashi just go ahead and quickly take care of that. They, they can make a plan to you know. You know, catch him off guard, whatever. He just swoop in with the copy leap hurricane from Guy and just, you know, the in the fight with it. Or, you know, something like that. Something it's just, I don't know. I think wanted to bring that up because I, I think people just don't realize that Kakashi is a really awesome Taijutsu user, which is understandable to a certain extent because, like, he is most known for using ninjutsu. Um, but his Taijutsu shouldn't be slept on either. So when it comes yeah. to, the, you know, the, the, the paths, that, you know, like I said, the Prado path and human path. And even maybe the Oscar path. I feel like, you know, his Taijutsu could really honestly just get rid of the Oscar path if the, you know, push came to shove. So, well, if, if you think that the Oscar path or the other path scale at or below the Diva path, which is reasonable, um, Kakashi's able to dodge the Diva path's kick at point blank range. You know, and there's no reason to believe that, you know, Pain is holding back his kicking speed. So, yeah. All right. So, we, uh, so, uh, you know, the first scenario, we, we do think that if it played out the same way, you know, uh, Jiraiya, I, and that's the thing too. I told Sage like, let's say for example, like, if they got the the same three paths of paint in that same Genjutsu, what I think would happen, personally, I mean, I guess this probably wouldn't happen in character, but because like you know, Kakashi's one to conserve his chakra, but in theory, he could get rid of those three that those three paints he got trapped. They got trapped in the Genjutsu with Kamui right then and there, and have three of the six already taken care of. Now, granted, you know, if the Naraka path is obviously not there, then he can just resurre resurrect them. But that's the thing is that like it depends on, you know, which pains they he, he sends out. But obviously the Naraka path wasn't 
with them. So, um, yeah, like that, that's just my thing. Is like in theory, he he could get rid of all three of them with Conway the second they got hit with it. Um, but I guess, like I said, in character that wouldn't happen. I just wanted to say that, like in theory, it could happen. Well, so how how do you think it goes if you know <laughs> he brings a different strategy to the table, or what strategy do you think he would use? Now it depends. Do you think we should like do it in a way where he sends out one more, or just sends out a different pair of three? I mean, so to me, I think that he would probably send out the same paths that he sent out, um, except like so initially in the original, he sent out basically one at a time as he needed more. Um, but I think that the Ashra path comes out way earlier because he's going to know who Kakashi is. He's going to know that he's just this super powerful, you know, character that has all kinds of crazy feats and is going to take it a lot more seriously earlier on. He's also probably not going to be like just monologuing to Jiraiya the whole time because Kakashi's going to be there as well. So it, at that point, it's like, okay, so if you think that the Ashra path is somewhat relative to Kakashi even if Kakashi's a little bit above, that would keep Kakashi busy. And then basically Jiraiya has the same fight that he had before. But then, you know, what happens, we saw that in the um, in the fight against uh, Kabuto controlling Nagato, uh, whenever Itachi, Naruto, and B are fighting him, that Nagato was able to hide in the chameleon and utilize the diva path Shinra Tensei, wh like from within the chameleon. Um, and like it not affect the chameleon, obviously. So that could be something that we see is like if Payne knows that he's at a more disadvantageous position, I think it's far more likely that he uses tactics like that to, you know, get around their defenses, hit them with sneak attacks, um, ones that can deal serious damage. And then, you know, probably is going to send out, like we said, more paths of pain at once. Um, you know, we know that the frog song takes a little bit of prep for, uh, Ma and Pa to pull off. They have to, like warm up their throats or whatever. They haven't done it in a really long time. So I'm not even sure if they have the opportunity to get frog song off and without being able to get frog song off, I think they're cooked. Um, because yes, Jiraiya can deal with the summons, but then Kakashi's going to be busy handling the Ashura path. So now Jiraiya is going to have to fight the two other paths of pain. And meanwhile, if, you know, the diva path is hiding in the chameleon or something, he can just blindside one of them with the Shinra Tensei. A uh, human path can rip out one of their souls. Like, there's just a bunch of different things that kind of feed into this. And so I think without that, you know, win con of eliminating basically three of them off rip um, by going into the tunnels and things like that, like, they're kind of just folded. I, I, I really don't see a way that they come out on top here. I do think they would take down a few paths of pain. I think the animal path goes down because Jiraiya probably counters it. Um, maybe you could argue Kakashi takes down one of the paths of pain, likely the Ashura path, maybe with a lightning clone like he did before. Uh, but at the end of the day, whenever pain's going to be fighting more seriously, I don't see a way that they can pull off this victory. Could they escape? Actually, that's actually a fantastic question. So if their goal is to find out what pain can do, um, and, and who Pain is, I think that after seeing all of the paths fight, um, and like getting these blindside attacks from, you know, the, the, the diva path as well, um, you know, and sort of discovering more about their abilities. And then plus with Kakashi being a bit more rational than Jiraiya, uh, also a better tactician than Jiraiya, I do think that he would be like, look, you know, if, if they, if he doesn't figure out who pain is like who's behind pain then maybe you know kakashi would just be like hey man we can figure that out later now we know all of their abilities we can go back to the village and regroup and then like we're gonna be in a way better position to fight this guy now that we know how he fights um so like i do think that they would figure out basically all the abilities and then you know save maybe the the uh abilities to like resurrect the other paths like i don't know if they would see that but I think they'd figure out basically all of their abilities, and then Kakashi would likely be able to convince Jiraiya, like, listen, we got everything we need. Um, we can figure out who he is later and then get out of there. Worst case scenario, Jiraiya sacrifices himself, letting Kakashi get away. And if Kakashi has time, I mean, dude's like Batman. If he has time to prep a plan, you know, with all of that intel, I think Payne shows up to the village and gets absolutely clipped. Like, there's just, I mean, again, there's that databook statement says Kakashi has the best strategic plans. 
the panel that it's referencing is whenever he uses his shadow clone technique and the uh, hidden mist in the anime to counter um, Itachi's genjutsu. And it's like he fought him one time and was like, yeah, never again. Like, we're, we're going we're gonna to make sure we deal with that. So I think a similar thing would happen here. Now, we haven't even talked. I, I feel bad about this, but it's almost like a moot point. We haven't even talked that, about how Conan's in this fight, too, technically. But I, mean, it's, I, I, I let's be honest. Like, I love Conan to death. I really do. But she got folded by Jiraiya. And with Kakashi being there, it'd probably take even less time. Um, no shade on Conan. The only thing I could say, and honestly say, I just thought about this. I don't think it would happen, but it's kind of just funny to think about how... <laughs> Is like, what if somehow, like, Conan decided to, it's like, thing, she, she felt like things got bad enough. It's like, what if she, like, led Jiraiya and Kakashi somehow to, like, the ocean of paper bombs that she had in the freaking rain village? You imagine the look on there, like, ain't nothing they would be able to do. Like, I don't know, they, they'd be, well, actually, Jiraiya might be able to reverse summon them. Before the paper bombs start going off? Yeah. I think I think he'd be able to reverse some of them. Um, maybe he can only reverse someone himself because he's the only one that has the contract with the Toads. But I, I think that it makes sense for him to be able to reverse someone both of them. But that, yeah, I mean, I also I, do, I, I, I also think like Conan, she like prepped for like years to be able to use that against Obito, you know. So it would be such a waste. Yeah, I know, I know. That's what I was saying. Like, I don't, I, I know it wouldn't happen, but I just think it's like, well, you know, if push came to absolute shove. It's like, well, you know. Um, but yeah, no, I agree. I think, you know, if it happened the same way, then yeah, I think, you know, Kakashi and Jiraiya performed pretty well. Um, if they are able to take the, those three out, you know, um, then, you know, I mean, who knows? Maybe they could take out the rest of the, the Path of Pain, you know, um, maybe before the Naraka Path revives them, who knows? Uh, but if they, if it's another situation where they start sending out more and more, you know, right off the bat, like the more dangerous ones off the bat. Yeah, I can I can agree. I, I I can see Kakashi and Jirai working collectively to take out a couple of them, but if we are doing this, you know, in chronological case, then realistically their mission would be just to to, re, to do recon and to try to you know get out of there. Obviously, if they had a chance to beat Pain once and for all, then they'll take it. But the, Kakashi being Kakashi and being more you know cautious, he's probably going to look at a situation and being like yeah there's no chance for victory here we're going to we're going to we're going to do better if we get out of here and plan in the yeah. village uh, cuz they already knew like at some point like everyone felt it in their bones the akatsuki was going to evade the leaf village one way or the other and so like yeah i i well when you you know if kakashi sees this level of power and like even if jiraiya stays behind and sacrifices himself to figure out who is like behind the mask essentially um kakashi's gonna go back to the hidden leaf village be like hey this guy has unmatched power but i like know all of his abilities so uh guy you need to stay in the village um because whenever he arrives you and i are gonna whoop his ass you know like there's <laughs> you know and so i think uh i think honestly like we would see a scenario where konoha would be far more prepared at bare at the very least you know um so I, I don't really see a way that they would beat Pain here, but I don't. I also don't see a way that they wouldn't get away with the upper hand. You know? Yeah. I, I if, if we're talking about the second scenario, I kind of need to see more in a way like you know. I think the paths of Pain that they could mostly take down before they had to either before they either had to escape or they just are done for uh, would probably be. Uh, I'd I'd probably say the the prey to path because again like Takashi's quick to pick up on things the second he starts seeing that the prey to path can absorb ninjutsu whatever like he's gonna immediately make a plan to like take it out with taijutsu um the the human path same deal like he has to touch you in order to like actually kill you and whatnot so it's like stuff like that i mean like collectively with the mom paw and I, I understand like in, in the second scenario mom paw wouldn't be able to get the frog song off in time and it's just like we gotta remember that Kakashi's also a you know a you know pretty get, skilled genjutsu user so he even like he might be able to play off of jiraiya's genjutsu in some way to you know to take out some of the paths of pain but ultimately i agree i feel like they don't really stand much of a chance at victory per se but yeah the victory would be getting the info and getting out of there so um it comes to that i think 
if we counted that as a victory, I think the the best chance is that I feel like it's probably like a six, maybe a seven out of ten that they can get away. You know, get the recon and get away. Yeah. Um, so, um, but yeah, that, that's uh, that's gonna do it. It's a nice little what if for y'all. Um, you know, Kakashi and Drive versus Pain. Uh, I might do a separate scenario. Um, later on with the same case, but with Tsunade in place of Kakashi. So that might be its own like part two. So if you want, if you want to, you know, watch that, let me know in the comments below. But thank you, Sage, for being on the channel again. Yeah, man. Anytime. It's uh, it's always a pleasure when I get to hop over here. Um, you know, if you guys enjoyed, I mean, you're 30 minutes in, so you definitely enjoyed the video. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Um, you know, we're we're trying to trying to get Lightning to 5K as quickly as possible. Uh, he's like right around the corner from it. So let's go ahead and uh, run those subscriptions up. For sure, for sure. And like I said, like you said, if you haven't watched, if you haven't subscribed to Sage's channel yet, what are you doing? Like he's racking up those, he's racking up the numbers just as much as I am, if not more. So it's like, yeah, you need to get, you need to go over there and watch his stuff. Uh, I'll leave a link to the channel in the description below. Thank you all for watching all the way to the end if you have.